hey guys what's up really hope that you're really doing well so I have this word that God has really laid on my heart you know he has given me this way from a long time to be honest long long time but no he wants me to speak on this word now and the reason and the topic of this video is withering branches so we know that before you even watch the video you might have seen a, a picture of a thriving branch and a dead branch or thriving leaves or dead leaves and it is comparing the Christian it is comparing the Christian right and the Christians can live in two states thriving branches or withering branches we will go into the message and you will be able to understand what God is really saying so the scripture is Isaiah 40 verse 8 well I want to read from verse 7 to 8 really I think it's very powerful the grass withers and the flower fades because the breath of the Lord blows upon it surely people are grass the grass withers and the flower fades but the word of our God stands forever people are grass now this goes to show that um the society track um job said it that people are like a miss you're here today you're gone tomorrow right so life can be gone in a split second just like that right just like that and what god really wants us to really know is that you can be here today you're watching this video today god forbid you're gone tomorrow just like that but the grass withers and the flower fades but the word of god stands forever glory to jesus now let me just put it this way imagine a tree and its branches imagine a fruit tree a fig tree whatever tree and when the tree begins to rot you're not gonna see the roots shivering you're not gonna see the roots um being being disintegrated or what you are going to see the branches or the leaves on the branches begin to wither right especially when you're going into a new season the branches will wither you see it's leaves it will start to shed its leaves and so forth and i want you to think about a tree that is bare no leaves or the leaves are just falling off and compared to a thriving tree with fruits hanging from its branches with thriving beautiful green leaves now the christian is like that as I said before, the Christian can be like that. And either way, one you fall in one category or the other. Right? And we want to we want people to know that what Jesus said in his word, a good tree cannot produce bad fruit, nor a bad fruit produce bad tree produce good fruit. And what God really wants us to get now at this point. If you are in his word, Jesus said it, if you are in his word, you will be a fruit according to John chapter 15. Now Jesus compare himself as the tree and you are the branches. Come on. Jesus is the tree. You are the branches, right? Now if you are abiding in Jesus, who is the, who is the tree, and if you are living according to Jesus and sticking to Jesus, that tree, that branch will bear fruit. Now, if you cut off a branch from the tree, you know that that branch is going to wither over time. Now, it looks good. 
it still looks green it still looks fresh scientifically you know that photosynthesis will not happen as it should be and there will be a lot of um hydro hydrolysis that means loss of water i believe i stand corrected if anyone really knows this put it in the comment but it's just like that right so when you are in jesus christ when you are attached to Jesus, you are the branch. It will be evident that you are attached to Jesus. Why? It will be because of your fruit. Your fruit will tell your source. Let me tell you something. A, a mango tree cannot produce passion fruit, nor can a passion fruit produce mango. You have to know your source. And what, and what I'm saying as believers, as Christians, as children of God, if we are a part of Jesus Christ, if we say we are in the Lord, that means our fruit must be good. Come on. Not only our fruit must be good, but we should be producing fruit. Right? And what is the fruit of the Holy Spirit? It is clearly stated in John Galatians 5, verses 22 to 23. Right? If you read the book of Luke, I don't remember where the chapter, but Jesus was saying those basic things. Out of your mouth, the abundance of the heart speak it. So when you're in Christ, it will be evident it will be evident that you are in Christ. Why? Because you are walking in the word of God. You are being fruit. You are seeing the love, the joy, the peace, the long suffering, the self-control, faithfulness, gentleness, goodness. And I believe that's all. And you know, the fruit of the spirit. When you're in Jesus Christ, you will show fruit. You will show the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because you're connected to the source. You are connected to the bomb in Gilead. You are connected to the Ebenezer. You are connected to the Alpha and Omega. You are connected to the Kings of Kings and the Lord of Lords. When you are in Jesus Christ, you will bear fruit right that's what jesus is saying when you're in him you will bear fruit and your foundation is sturdy right your foundation is sturdy your foundation is strong because the scripture says a wise man built his house upon the rock and when the storms and the wind comes up against that and the waves it did not fall because it was founded upon a rock comparing to the man who built his house upon the sun and you know what happened sink rain come flood came wind came boom crash that's it for him and that's what jesus was comparing us to these builders he was basically saying it's either we are wise or we are foolish is that we're in his word or not in his word church of god when you are a thriving branch, you will bear fruit in and out of season. That's what I love about Jesus. You know, Jesus, Jesus is not like um, some of the fruit trees that bear fruit um, in certain season. Mangoes have their season. Um, Guineps have their season. Aki have their seasons. Um, and, and, and other fruit trees have their seasons. But Jesus wants us to be bearing fruit in and out out of season therefore we should not be any part-time christians we should be bearing fruit when we're going through the good things and we should be bearing fruit when we're going through the bad things and it's through the and most of the time it is through the storms our fruits or our character is being built up in jesus christ amen hallelujah withering branches Withering branches, or are you a thriving branch? Withering branches, let me tell you about withering branches. They do not wither immediately. Amen? Withering branches do not wither immediately. After a while, the, the, the leaves will begin to, um, to crail or to, we call it shrivel up. 
That's what many people say. But it begins to curl and it begins, you can see the lack of moisture that water is coming out of it. Water, why? Because it's not connected to the tree. But because when it was connected to the tree, the tree provide the branch with water. And I just want to say this to the Christian. When you're connected to Jesus Christ, you automatically get water. And the water is a symbol of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is the source. The Holy Ghost is the one that brings fruit. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God is good and God is speaking. Hope that someone is getting this word. Hallelujah. But when you are a, a withering branch, the what, what happened is that you, when Jesus cursed the tree, the picture that that does not bear fruit, when Jesus cursed the tree, it was the next day, the next day that the tree leaves were gone or the branches were withered or, or the tree was not in shape as it used to. What, what Jesus was, what, 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 what really happened is this. You can cut yourself away from Jesus and you can still be on the choir. Glory to God. You can still be on the praise and worship team. You can still do evangelism. You can still speak in tongues. You can still prophesy. You can still do the necessary things. But after a while, you're going to realize you're losing moisture. You're losing substance. You're disconnecting from the Holy Ghost. And after a while, you're going to realize you're being curled up. You're going to realize that you don't have the ability to bear fruit as you used to by the power of the Holy Spirit. So what? You become a withering branches. I want you to wither. Imagine a branch that has been cut off and the leaves are beginning to curl up or, and, it, and, and it's beginning to dry out. That is the Christian that cuts himself away from God. That is the part-time Christian. I want someone to get this. That is the part-time Christian. That is the part-time Christian. That is a Christian that only goes to church on a Sunday or a Saturday. That is the only Christian who only spends time in the Word of God one day a week or probably or even a few minutes and forgets about God. That's the Christian. He's not really connected to the source. Jesus said, abide in me and, and I will abide in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You cannot say you're abiding in Christ. And your fruits are not being produced. I know that fruits take time. But don't get me wrong. You cannot be in Christ and you're not showing a godly lifestyle, a godly nature, a godly character. You can be a thriving branch or a withering branch. And those who are out there in the world, those people, especially the backsliders, those are withering branches. But it is not too late to come back and connect with the word. It's not too late to come and connect back with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When, when, it's when I'm speaking a lot, I sweat a lot too. But God is speaking. God is speaking. God is speaking. The grass withers, the flower fades, but God's word stands forever. And you can get back to this word. It never withers. Sometimes you go after this. I believe that God is giving me a revelation here. Sometimes you go after after the things of this world that are grass and flowers it looks pretty it looks green it looks greener on the other side the world looks greener oh nothing much is going on in christendom i want to do what i want so you go after the things of the world you go after the flowers you go after the greener side you go after the beautiful things but you don't realize that the grass withers and the flower fades but when you left your first love your first love is still there and your first love abides forever we run after pornography we run after jobs we run after wealth and nothing is wrong with wealth nothing is wrong with career but we put those things as priority above the word of jesus christ we put those things as priority 
and when we set those things as priority above Jesus Christ, you're going to be disappointed in the end. I guarantee we run after a spouse, we run after a car, we run after a dream house, we run after all the grass and the flowers in this world. But remember, they're going to fade. The Bible said that those who do the will of God will abide forever. First John chapter 2 verses verses 2. Seven, ver, well, chapter 2, verse 17, yes. Verse 17. And God is saying to us as Christians, believers, check yourself. Check yourself. Glory to God. This is a powerful word. This is a powerful word. I'm here looking outside and I'm just looking at the trees and I'm saying the trees the leaves are beautiful the, the, the branches are well attached I'm looking at a fruit tree right and the leaves are in shape the leaves are good it is blossoming it is in its season because it, and, and, and they're bearing fruit because they're attached to the source but when you're not in Jesus Christ you're not gonna bear any fruit you're not going to show the Christ-like character. And you know the beautiful thing about it? The birds are landing on those branches. When you are in Jesus and you are connected to Jesus, people who are afar off will want to land on your branch. They will want to hear the word. They will want to hear the word and they want to hear what you have to say about Jesus. You attract people you attract people from different nation tongues culture whatever it may be and god is saying you will attract but when a bird sees a tree that doesn't really bear much fruit and it is withering you know you know you won't see them building their nest in that tree trust me you won't see them doing it really some birds will some birds won't because birds study the condition. Birds study the environment. And we should be like that. We should, we should learn to abide in the presence of God. We should learn to stay around people that brings about a positive atmosphere. People that are in the world. People that are thriving branches and bearing fruit. But if you're not bearing fruit, you're going to wither. You may feel okay now. Because you say you don't have to be a part of the church. I still press with my Bible. After a while, you're going to come out to nothing. You're going to fail. You're going to be disappointed. But with this, you shall make it. It is well, believers in Jesus Christ. God loves you. And I pray that the Father will look upon you. You know, if this word is really for you, you know. I pray that God touch you and keep you. And I say, Father, cover them, bless you, and God will keep you. So, Father God, bless your people. Cover them and keep them in your word. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Touch someone that watches this video. And as they listen to your word, let it be authentic. Let it be inspirational and let it be transforming to them. Thank you, Jesus. Someone is going to watch this video and you're going to be pricked. You're going to be transformed. God is going to speak to you. Amen. So, examine yourself. Are you a withering branch or are you thriving? And if you're on the verge of being withered, get back. And if you're on the verge of thriving, stay connected. Keep rooted. Keep being grounded. God bless and take care in Jesus' name. Share this video. Comment. And just let God have his way. Amen. Bless up.